I wonder what's in room 207. There'll be any evidence. Probably will be. Or else how will the story progress? Unless something major happens. The Open Arms Hotel, the Bronx, late evening. Look at the phone. I'm not sure why. There's a missing cat. It's de I, I think it's definitely, definitely the cat. Probably repair that. It's definitely the cat. I think the cat the did it. Rooms or anything like the lobby? They should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, the what are you doing ultimate. here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Uh. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. God, By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why well, take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. The you don't know man. how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. I'll just keep dropping Wait. cigarettes on the floor. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Achievement unlocked. Can I get a fresh set of towels? I don't think you're going to get fresh set of towels in that hotel. It's a bit dirty. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if... I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? <laughs> oh.
<laughs> I, I don't think I should. Anything in this room? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I mean, what if someone's in there? I'm investigating a murder. I've got to check out all the angles. You never know what might be significant. Well, I guess. I heard that was saying anything's going to be in this room. See anything? Nope. Open the door. 207. Open this one. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? This How isn't could what you it looks do this like. to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me! With <sighs> him? No, 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 Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me! What the fuck Shit. is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm mad! Uh, hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! Is this you staying out of it? I thought I could trust you! I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and- Beast! Dodging. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. <laughs> She's my oh wife. shit! I hate this. <laughs> what? Oh god! I did something. Oh god! Something happened. Stop. Oh what? I, I I how did I pause this? I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I did. Wait, uh, how did I pause it? I'm confused. <laughs> uh, I was pressing buttons. Got <laughs> uh, <laughs> it. It's okay. <laughs> Leave him be! This is my fault! Please, no! I understand! Why do that? Uh. Ooh! Ooh, right in the eyes. You ruined everything! Please. She's my fuck! <sighs> Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You- you don't want to see this! Oh shit. Shit. What is it? Oh! <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- 
Who's this? Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Well, last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. I... so that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. Shit. I'll explain later, okay? God damn it, Beast. I told you that it wasn't a thing. You never listen. God damn it, Baby, Beast. What kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about mm. to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built in cassette player? I think cassette so. Player. Yes. Bloody hell, that's old. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Storybook. We shouldn't even be in here. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? I don't speak yeah. very much German. Um. Why is she in a glass this? coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Uh... I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean, just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Alright, uh, let's see, what's this? God! It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. <laughs> Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Wasn't that the wine on Crane's desk? <sighs> or was meant to be on Crane's desk? Shit. Someone's Torn been up. rough with this dress. dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? They had sex? <laughs> it could be a cross dress. <laughs> this is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. To recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Oh, an apple. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? That <laughs> makes him hungry. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. 
I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I have to play the cassette and the cassette player. Oh, a note. Picture of snow. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer well, he and stalker, closer. So. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next Thanks. step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. Fucking called it. Shit. When it gets bloody cassette. Oh god. Shit. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. No respect for the dead. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. Mm. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Thank you, Bluebeard. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that was good. So how did you respond to Crane's death about snow? You and 13.4% uh, of players... Nope. About snow's death. Uh, you and 13.4% of players ignored him. How did you treat the murder suspect? You and 62.3% of players persuaded him to talk. Uh, did snow come with you to a trip trap? You and 91.9% .9 of players let her make her own decision. How did you handle Georgie? You and thirty point one percent of players hit Georgie. Did uh, you keep the? Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and seventy seven point seven percent of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. Well, I'm not quite the minority in this one. Probably about fifty percent of the time. So, yeah. So thanks for watching uh, the Wolf Among Us uh, episode two. Uh, this should come out in five parts, I think, and. Um, so yeah, I shall get playing Dwarf Among Us episode 3 as soon as possible, and uh, hit like, favourite, and subscribe, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. <laughs>